Hey, Stacia, I feel like I should update you on the Tasha K versus Kevin Hart lawsuit since I did do a video about it before recently. So earlier this month in January, a judge denied Kevin Hart's quest at Tasha K be forced to take down her video, which is currently up. Um, the teasers are up on YouTube and the actual video is on Tasha K's membership site, where she starts $12 for it. And so it's interesting, Kevin Hart lost that battle but the reason why she lost that battle is something that I say in that video when I talk about this is that um, when T Kevin Hart's assistant signed the NDA, the only way the assistant would have been able to get out of and spill the beans on what she knows about Kevin Hart is if the information that she shared was public knowledge. That's the loophole if it's public knowledge. Now, Tasha Kay's, the interview where she said that stuff was not necessarily public. It was public because it was in Tasha Kay's membership. But that created a quandary for Kevin Hart's legal team because what they did was when they went to ask for it to be taken down, they just told the judge generally what was in it. The judge was like, if I don't have a transcript, I don't have something specific, how can you tell me the stuff that she said during this interview that's in this private membership you know, violated the NDA? You got to give me the actual transcript. And they didn't have the transcript. And so because of the, the, the nature of the fact that he didn't bring, they didn't bring the transcript, the judge denied it on that technical basis. Now, what I have, what I have done is ask for a protective order. So Kevin Hart's team, legal team kind of fumbled the bag on this one. They should have said, we'll submit the transcript to the, the court, but we ask for a protective order so it's not become publicly available, which happens. And cases were regarding businesses and businesses have trade secrets and they're suing another company for violating trade secrets, if they put it in the record and the public courts records are public, then everyone's gonna know their trade secrets. So they asked for a protective order for that document. That's what they should have done, but they didn't do that. So the judge is like, say, get out of here. And then um, they also denied Tasha Kay's claim around that same hearing, saying that she wanted the case to be suspended until she, her bankruptcy hearing, which would be in her best favor because she already has this four point whatever judgment against Cardi B pending over there. And she's claiming bankruptcy. So in case she were to lose this case against Kevin Hart, at least her assets would be protected that bankruptcy hearing. And so the judge says, no, that this case is going to go forward irrespective of what's going on over there in your bankruptcy hearing. So anyway, so that was the end of that. So this judge only handles matters of procedural matters, which is like sort of as a technical term for like processes, like administrative sort of matters, not the substance of the case. So another judge is going to handle that. So that continues. But Tasha K won the battle of having have her video taken down and Kevin Hart won the battle of Tasha K's request to kind of conceal her assets against this claim. So there you have it. And what are the lessons here for content creators? The lessons here for content creators is that, as you probably know, if you are on YouTube or if you're familiar with things like Patreon, you can have memberships where you, if you're um, if part of your, what you have to offer is what your, your hot takes or whatever on something or maybe interviews, then, and I had a membership on this channel once before, but it didn't go anywhere. Maybe I might do it again in the future. Is that you can say, there's things that I can say that might be, get me in trouble. There's things that I can't say on YouTube because they may have curse words and that they may have other things that would be demonetized or won't be taken well publicly said. I can say it in my membership. So that essentially is a win for uh, having memberships and being able to monetize membership, especially if you are a gossip blogger, or especially if you say things or make hot takes that are controversial that can actually impact you later on if it's known widely outside of your 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 patrons, the people willing to pay for this inside knowledge. So that's a lesson there in that. So I'll keep updated periodically with this case as it goes forward because it impacts YouTubers and content creators and is relevant. So my, tech, my next video when I am going to be talking about Monique and the legal issues that came up during her interview with Shannon Sharp. And the video after that is going to be talking about Federal Trade Commission disclosure. What is it? What is required? And just going to a basic frequently asked questions just to like hash out some little details. So if you're interested in that, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Um, comment below. You want to talk about this case that I'm talking about in this video and tell your fellow friends. And uh, let me not watch this video in this series because this is a series on this channel. I'm thinking about pivoting, not quite sure yet, but it looks like a lot of people are interested in this topic. There's no other channels on YouTube that gives fellow content creators information or legal advice because a lot of us can't afford lawyers. So I'm your lawyer, <laughs> not your real lawyer, but someone helping you out. All right, talk to you soon. Watch this video next.